Joined now by Edward Schumacher Matos. He is the Edward R. Murrow Visiting Professor of Public Diplomacy at the Fletcher School at Tufts University. Welcome to our broadcast, Professor. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> in your estimation, did U.S. Secretary Mattis make any progress in his meeting with South Korea's Minister of National Defense, Song Yong Moo? Yes, I think so. I think the important thing is that uh, the meeting underlined how there is no wedge that's been uh, achieved by North Korea between North and South, between the United States and South Korea. Uh, number one and number two, I think it's very important for the rest of the world to hear that the United States and the Trump administration is going to lead with diplomacy. But if you look at the statements real close, you see that they also say that they're going to maintain a very strong military uh, backup behind that. And I think that's very crucial whenever you, you, you talk with North Korea. How does South Korea coexist with the DPRK in attending mm -hmm. the Olympics while keeping up with the pressure for a denuclearized peninsula? Well, it's, it's clearly not going to be easy, and I don't think the South Koreans live under any illusion that, uh, um, you know, that peace is at hand with North Korea or that unification is at hand, but, you know, that they, they do want to explore uh, whatever can be explored and to try to have some kind of attention. Not that you think you're going to be able to do anything with this current regime in North Korea, but trying to reach out to, to the North Korean masses. So the DPRK has long said it is open to talks without preconditions, but the U.S. says it must first take those concrete steps towards the denuclearization. Do you believe this is a question of who will blink first? Well, um, um, you know, North Korea will blink if, if you put enough pressure on them. Um, um, the, the reverse has happened with us as well. We have blinked in the past, too. Uh, I don't know that, that, there's a, that we're in that much of a blinking situation that this will help us get past that, that, uh, um, you know, that kind of a standoff. Uh, I think it's, it's crucial that the administration has said that it's willing to negotiate directly with North Korea as opposed to now trying to put together any kind of a group. Um, I think that the statements you see coming out of Japan are very important. Um, the, the fear that someday Japan might actually nuclearize has got to scare both the Chinese and the North Koreans. So Mattis is saying the Kim regime right now is this threat to the entire world. Thus far since uh, he has been Secretary of Defense, do you feel like his approach uh, is working? Well, he's, it's, it's a mainstream approach, but trying to be um, b both one more direct, but also uh, stressing the nuclear option more. Uh, the, the Trump administration has done that. You can argue that historically um, North Korea, um, which has constantly uh, played off uh, different administrations as, uh, as, as they've, they've, they've tried to even extort American administrations, hoping to reach some kind of an agreement, um, that, that taking a, stu a tougher stance is, is going to be more successful than trying to take the soft stance. So this is a quote from Secretary Mattis. He says, the U.S. and South Korea are going to keep tightening the screws on the DPRK until it gives up its nuclear program. Somewhat provocative, you might say. Uh, yeah. Not as provocative as what we've heard from U.S. President Trump in the past. But right. do you believe yeah. that this is the right vernacular to choose? Um, the language might be the right language, but that's never going to happen. The worst thing is if the administration paints itself into a corner because there's no way the North is going to give up its nuclear weapons to, before beginning any kind of talks. That's totally unrealistic, and everybody knows that. Um, and I'm sure that this administration, which, which uh, has been is quick to say things, uh, but then suddenly do things that are far more practical when, when push comes to shove. Well, Professor, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. We'll leave it there.